One area where these AI models have made a profound impact is time series manipulation. Tyrex is a specialized time series foundation model built on XLSTM architecture and this is what we are going to install in free Google Colab today and more importantly I am going to describe what exactly is this model, what are the real world use cases and how you can use them. I have been installing and playing around with these time series models for a long time on the channel and if you are interested just go to the channel and search with time series and you will find that i have done multi dozen time series models already and some of them are very very specific to few of the use cases now they have improved a lot and this model tyrex also seems quite interesting to me because it is based on xlstm architecture xlstm stands for extended long short term memory i'm not only going to explain this in very simple words but we will also get it installed this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel so what exactly is this xlstm xlstm is an improved version of traditional very well known LSTM neural network architecture that's better at processing sequential data like time series. It improves and enhances the original LSTM's ability to remember important information over long sequences while being more efficient and capable of handling complex patterns in data. Coming back to this specific model which is Tyrex model this model seems to have been designed specifically for accurate time series forecasting across both short and long prediction horizons. And you won't believe it has just 35 million parameters. That's it. It's relatively compact yet quite powerful from the benchmarks which I have seen so far. It also enables fast inference while maintaining state of the art performance. The model's, key, <clears throat> sorry, the model's key innovation lies in its zero-shot forecasting capability, meaning it can generate predictions on new time series data without requiring any training or fine-tuning on that specific data sets. It also provides both point estimates and quantile predictions, giving users not just forecasts but also uncertainty quantification around these predictions. I will be talking more about its architecture, but for now, let me take you to my free Google Colab. You can also access it at colab.research.google.com. First step, log in with your Google's account, free account, free Google Colab. Really good on Google for doing this. Click on runtime, change runtime type, select free GPU given by Google, which is T4 GPU. And then let's get it installed by cloning this tie um rex repo and then we are installing all the prerequisites from the root of the repo while it happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and you will find the link to their website in videos description Okay, so the repo is now cloned as you can see and we have also set up our example directory from the repo and everything is installed. Now what we are going to do after cloning this repo, we are going to uh, load the model and then we are going to showcase and demonstrate forecasting on the classic air passenger data set, which is quite a well known time series showing monthly airline passenger numbers over time. So let's click on this code and this is where I am getting it. So I'm just loading it from their repo. So let's wait for it. It is going to take a bit of a time. And the data is loaded. Next up, let's load the model and we are going to generate the uh, forecast for both short horizon and long horizon. And you can see that the model is so small, just 141 meg of size. And then it is setting up that short horizon and long horizon uh, forecasting. 
and it has finished its forecasting and i believe also should have done the plotting there you go now if you look here it has done both the short horizon as you can see in the graph and on the long horizon on that data center of course you can replace it with your own and then plot this graph now one of the coolest feature which i really really like about this model is its flexibility you can have different input formats and you can have different output formats for example <clears throat> these are all the input formats so uh, you can have toss tensor you can have numpy arrays you can have list of sequences you can have even a clone ts data set so <clears throat> different inputs there you go so you see these are the different inputs or if you go to the repo you can have even different outputs which makes this thing very very flexible i'm just going to show you the sample code where you can simply go with torch tensor numpy array and then you can simply export it like this so if you are working in this field i think then you will be more uh, likely to appreciate that how useful this is in having different customizable input output formats and that is where i believe this model shines a lot <clears throat> now um, not only that but i believe that um, this model is quite versatile because it, we just saw that how it can handle batch processing for multiple time series simultaneously iterate through large data set in batches to manage memory <clears throat> efficiently and also integrate with the popular time series library ecosystem you also saw that the plotting functionality also uh, enables us to have the visualization about forecasting alongside historical data and then we also saw the quantile outputs in a very very fine way and that shows us that how the model provides uncertainty estimates rather than just point predictions which i think make it quite suitable for risk aware decisions making in real world applications now in my opinion this model is really good suited um, for forecasting in business scenarios where companies need to predict sales demand inventory levels or financial metrics without having historical models already trained for each specific data set because if you look at these graphs it really has excelled in operational planning context scenarios so for example you can even use it for energy demand forecasting supply chain optimization, resource allocation, and capacity planning where both short-term tactical decisions and long-term strategic planning are required. Um, for instance, if you are also looking to do some sort of rapid prototyping and consulting scenarios where data scientists, scientists need to quickly generate reliable forecasts across diverse industries and data sets without the time investment of training custom models, this could be a good choice in my opinion so pretty solid i would say um, i'm not sure what exactly this license mean that is my only uh, gripe i would say or maybe concern other than that i think looks pretty cool to me but let me know what exactly you think because that matters a lot please like the video and share the video i would highly appreciate that and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps thank you very much